हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल इग्नू डी एन एच ई ऑनलाइन क्लासेस माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर आयुषी एंड लास्ट टू वीडियोज वी हैव स्टडीड यूनिट वन नाउ लेट्स मूव फर्दर टू द नेक्स्ट यूनिट दैट इज यूनिट टू द मैक्रो न्यूट्रिय पार्ट वन कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स एंड वाटर टूडेज टॉपिक्स आर इंट्रोडक्शन डाइजेशन एब्जॉर्बन एंड यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ फूड एंड ओवर व्यू कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स अवेलेबल कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स नॉन अवेलेबल कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स वाटर एंड एट लास्ट वी विल सी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस यूनिट इंट्रोडक्शन न्यूट्रियस आर दो सब्सटेंसेज प्रेजेंट इन फूड विच मस्ट बी सप्लाइड टू द बॉडी इन सूटेबल अमाउंट्स देर आर अराउंड फोर्टी एसेंशियल न्यूट्रियस दीज आर डिवाइडेड इन टू फाइव कैटेगरीज कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स फैट्स प्रोटीन्स विटामिनस एंड मिनरल्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम दीज वाटर ऑल्सो हैज अ यूनिक स्टेटस ऑफ फूड मोस्ट ऑफ द वेट ऑफ द फूड इज ड्यू टू कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स प्रोटीन्स फैट्स एंड वाटर दीज न्यूट्रियस आर कलेक्टिवली नोन एज मैक्रो न्यूट्रियस डाइजेशन एब्जॉर्बन एंड यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ फूड इन डाइजेशन प्रोसेस द कॉम्प्लेक्स सब्सटेंसेज इन फूड दैट इज कार्बोहाइड्रेट प्रोटीन्स एंड फैट्स आर ब्रोकन डाउन इन टू सिंपलर सब्सटेंसेज सो दैट द बॉडी कैन टेक इन एंड यूज दैम बट वॉटर मिनरल्स एंड विटामिनस कैन बी एब्जॉर्ब डायरेक्टली विदाउट अंडर गोइंग एनी डाइजेस्टिव चेंजेस डाइजेशन एंड एब्जॉर्बन प्रोसेसिस आर कैरीड आउट इन द डाइजेस्टिव ट्रैक्ट ऑफ द बॉडी Let's see the essential parts of the digestive tract. It begins from mouth which has openings of salivary glands. After mouth is a long tube like structure known as esophagus which connects mouth and stomach. Stomach is a bag like structure which opens into small intestine. Small intestine is a very long and coiled tube like which opens into large intestine at end of large intestine there is anus which opens to the exterior so this was digestive tract next is digestion of food digestion starts with ingestion that is intake of food in mouth from here food passes to the other parts of the digestive tract and in the whole passage it is mixed with digestive juices these digestive juices contain certain chemical substances known as enzymes so what are enzymes enzymes are proteins which help chemical reactions to proceed faster they bring about changes in food substances without themselves undergoing any change digestion takes place in various sites of digestive tract that is mouth stomach small intestine and large intestine Let's start with the mouth. Digestion begins in mouth. Here food is chewed with help of teeth and mixed with saliva. Saliva is secretion of salivary gland. Saliva contains an enzyme amylase which acts on cooked carbohydrates and partially digests them and breaks them into smaller units. Stomach. The chewed food mixed with saliva is then passed down to stomach through a tube-like structure called as esophagus. Food when reaches stomach, it get mixed with gastric juice, a secretion of stomach. It contain enzymes and water. Besides them, it also contains hydrochloric acid which makes its nature acidic. On mixing of food with gastric juice gives it thin soup-like consistency. Gastric juice contains an enzyme which partially digests the proteins and other nutrients in food remains unchanged. Small intestine. This partially digested mass of food is then passes from stomach to small intestine. Here, food is mixed with intestinal juice which is a secretion of small intestine and two more juices are added here, one from pancreas known as pancreatic juice and another one is bile which comes from liver. Bile aids in digestion and absorption of fats intestinal and pancreatic juice contains enzymes that breaks down carbohydrates fats and proteins into simpler substances these simple substances ultimately reaches the blood stream large intestine the food which is not absorbed in the small intestine reaches the large intestine along with large amount of water Here most of the excess water is reabsorbed and the remaining water and solid matter is eliminated from body as feces. Absorption of food. Absorption takes place in small intestine. After complete digestion, the nutrients present in the small intestine can be used by the body only when they enter the blood stream. 
This process of movement of digested food or nutrients across the intestinal wall to the blood stream is termed absorption of food. The wall of small intestine has numerous finger-like projections known as villi and they tremendously increase the total area for absorption. Most of the nutrients are absorbed from upper part of the small intestine and some are absorbed from lower portion. The blood carries nutrients to every cell of the body and once they reach the cell, the nutrients perform their specific functions. Utilization of food After digestion and absorption, the nutrients undergo chemical changes. Either they are further broken down to release energy or are used to form more complex substances. Metabolism Metabolism refers to all the chemical changes that take place in the cells after the end products of digestion are absorbed. It is of two types, anabolism and catabolism. Anabolism refers to all the chemical reactions by which simple substances are used to manufacture more complicated ones. And catabolism refers to chemical reactions by which complex substances are further broken down to simpler components. Carbohydrates Carbohydrates are organic compounds made up of three elements, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Carbohydrates are widely distributed in plant foods in the form of three types of compounds called as sugars, starches and fibers. All these carbohydrates are made up of some basic simple units. One of them is glucose and others are fructose and galactose. Let's see some examples of carbohydrates. Table sugar it is made up of one unit of glucose and one unit of fructose. Next is starch. It is made up of several units of glucose. Its examples are rice, wheat and maize. Next one is fiber. It is also made up of several units of glucose and its example is cellulose. All these types of carbohydrates can be classified into two categories, available and non-available carbohydrates. Carbohydrates like sugar and starches are digestible in the human digestive tract and are available to the body for its functioning and are termed as available carbohydrates. Cellulose cannot be digested in human digestive tract are referred to as non-available carbohydrates or fibers. Available carbohydrates, sugars and starches comes under this category. Wherever we will use the term carbohydrates, it will be for available carbohydrates and the term fibers will be used for non-available carbohydrates. Food sources of carbohydrates or available carbohydrates. It includes cereals and millets, roots and tubers, fruits, cane sugar and pulses. You need to memorize the food sources of various categories because this is not only important for exam point of view but is important while preparing a diet chart or advising the foodstuffs to a patient. Next is functioning of carbohydrates. Earlier, we had discussed the functions of food. One of them was physiological function which had energy giving function. So, the first function of carbohydrates is energy giving function. When carbohydrate burns in body, it releases energy, which is used by body for its functioning. One gram of carbohydrate provides approximately 4 kilocalories. Carbohydrate foods are widely distributed in nature and are cheapest source of energy. Carbohydrates usually provide 60-70% of total calories in our diets. Second function is protein sparing action. As we know that the chief function of carbohydrate is to provide energy to body, but due to insufficient intake of carbohydrate, body starts breaking down proteins to meet the energy needs. So if carbohydrates if taken in sufficient amounts to meet the energy needs of the body spares the proteins from breaking down. Third function is utilization of fat. Some amount of carbohydrate is needed for proper utilization of fats in the body. In the presence of carbohydrates, body do not require breaking down of fats for the energy, though both of them perform the energy giving function. In case of deficiency of carbohydrates in diet, body starts the breakdown of fats, which results in accumulation of byproducts of fat metabolism, which affects the health. 
नेक्स्ट इज डाइजेशन एब्जॉर्बन एंड यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स डाइजेशन ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट इन्वॉल्व ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ स्टार्च एंड शुगर टू देर सिंपलेस्ट यूनिट दैट इज ग्लूकोज एंड अदर कार्बोहाइड्रेट सब्सटेंसेज लाइक डाइट्री फाइबर्स प्रेजेंट इन होल ग्रेन्स वेजिटेबल्स एंड फ्रूट्स कैन नॉट बी डाइजेस्टेड बाई ह्यूमन बींग्स बिकॉज ऑफ लैक ऑफ नेसेसरी एंजाइम्स इन स्टमक एंड इंटेस्टाइन लेट सी द प्रोसेस स्टेप बाय स्टेप Digestion starts as soon as food enters in mouth. Here, saliva containing amylase acts on cooked starch and partially digests it. Then food reaches the stomach. Due to lack of carbohydrate digestive enzymes, no digestion takes place in stomach. Principal site of carbohydrate digestion is the small intestine. In small intestine, pancreas secretes the pancreatic juice which contains amylase which act on both raw and cooked starch and convert it into smaller units. Complete digestion takes place inside the cells of small intestine. Here, three important enzymes completes the process of digestion. These enzymes act on sugars and partially digested starch and break them into simple basic units that is glucose fructose and galactose and these are taken to various body cells through blood stream where they ultimately convert to glucose some amount of glucose remains in blood as blood sugar which is drawn up by cells whenever needed in body cells glucose is burnt in presence of oxygen to release energy Extra glucose is converted to glycogen and stored in liver and muscles. Whenever needed, this glycogen is broken down to glucose to meet the energy needs. When the glycogen storage is full, the remaining excess glucose is converted to fat and is stored in the body. Non-available carbohydrates or fibers. Fibers are indigestible carbohydrates like cellulose present in plant food. These are not available to body yet play an important role in regulation of some body processes. Functions of fibers. Fibers has a property of absorbing water. When in digestive tract, they absorb water and swells up, making food residue bulky, giving a feeling of fullness or satisfaction. Second is elimination. Fibers are helpful in feces elimination. Fibers present in stool holds water and hence helps in easy elimination. So, fibers are useful for preventing or relieving constipation. That's why in case of constipation, fiber-rich diet is advised. Third function is prevention of diseases like cancer, diabetes and heart diseases. Some research studies have shown that fiber plays a role in preventing these diseases. This shows that both available and non-available carbohydrates are important for body. Next is food sources of fibers. Fiber is present in outer covering of cereals and pulses, outer skin and seeds of vegetables and fruits. You can see other examples on screen. Animal foods like milk, meat, fish and poultry do not contain fibers. So, this was all about carbohydrates. Next is water, another macronutrient. Water is essential for life. One can survive without food for weeks but not without water. Water is macronutrient made up of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Water is an inorganic compound and contains sodium and potassium which belongs to mineral category. Functions of water. Water is a major component of our body. It makes up approximately 60% of adult total body weight and 75% of infant total body weight. Water is the medium of all body fluids including blood, saliva, digestive juices, urine, feces and sweat. Water plays an important role in the regulation of body temperature. Water is a universal solvent. It dissolves a variety of substances including all products of digestion and with help of blood is carried to various parts of body. Similarly, it helps in removal of waste products from the body. Water acts as a lubricant. It keeps cells moist, lubricates the joints and helps in passage of food down the digestive tract. Water does not undergo any digestive change in body and is absorbed as such. Sources of water. Ingestion of water in the form of liquids. This includes drinking water, tea, coffee, fruit juices and other drinks. Ingestion of water in form of solid foods. 
वाटर इज प्रेजेंट इन वेरियस फूड स्टफ्स इन हिडन और इनविजिबल फॉर्म्स वाटर फॉर्म्ड इन बॉडी फ्रॉम द मेटाबॉलिज्म ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट्स। सम अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर इज फॉर्म्ड इन बॉडी ड्यूरिंग केमिकल रिएक्शंस इन्वॉल्व इन मेटाबॉलिज्म ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स ड्रिंकिंग वाटर मस्ट बी सेफ एंड जर्म फ्री अदरवाइज इट गिव्स राइज टू वाटर बॉन्ड डिजीज नेक्स्ट इज वाटर बैलेंस देर आर थ्री प्रोसेस इन वाटर बैलेंस दैट इज सोर्स ऑफ वाटर यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ वाटर एंड लॉस ऑफ वाटर सोर्सेज ऑफ वाटर इंक्लूड्स ड्रिंकिंग वाटर वाटर कंटेंट एंड फूड एंड वाटर फॉर्मेशन एंड मेटाबॉलिज्म ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट्स इन बॉडी यूटिलाइजेशन दिस वाटर इज यूटिलाइज इन बॉडी प्रोसेसेस लॉस ऑफ वाटर थ्रू यूरिन स्वेट ब्रीदिंग सलाइवा एंड फीसेस नॉर्मली बॉडी मेंटेन्स अ बैलेंस बिटवीन इनटेक एंड लॉस ऑफ वाटर एंड दिस इज टर्म्ड एज वाटर बैलेंस सो दिस वाज ऑल अबाउट यूनिट टू कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स एंड वाटर Next we will see question from this unit. You can see and note down the questions from the screen. This slide contains questions from macronutrients and carbohydrates. And the second slide has questions from non-available carbohydrates and water. In next video we will study unit 3. You will get Telegram and WhatsApp group link in the description. If you have any doubts in this unit or unit 1 you can ask for it.